One popular wiring configuration is something called partial home backup, meaning if you look at these as two separate electrical panels in this image, only about half of the loads or some of the loads, some of the breakers are moved out of that panel into the backup panel behind the switch. Now remember, the switch opens up the connection between the home and the grid, meaning when the grid loses power, none of the breakers, none of the appliances or loads that are connected to this part of the electrical system will operate. They will turn off. But everything behind that switch, behind the microgrid interconnection device, behind this kind of open circuit now, will be part of the microgrid it'll operate. And this is why it's called partial home backup because only part of the home will operate in backup. Now, why would you do this? Well, in many cases, people don't buy a battery system that's large enough to power their whole home. And in those cases, you really don't want something large like an air conditioning unit or a pool pump that maybe isn't a priority during an outage to pull energy from the battery where if the battery doesn't have enough oomph, enough horsepower, enough kilowatts, basically a big enough kind of pipe to get enough power out quickly enough, it won't be able to power those larger appliances. It also is kind of like a reservoir where if you run out of battery capacity on the pool pump, you won't have enough to keep your fridge on. And so people with smaller battery systems will typically install a partial home backup. There are new solutions like smart load control, which can allow you to have partial home and still have some control of which loads you want on.